So I always put after here in all the previous videos. The other option is instead of. And the semantics are a little different depending on the two. Uh, after runs after the, the, the command has been executed. For example, if I say insert into employee territories, uh, let's do employee, into ter employee number one, uh, territory, I'm going to guess on what number's in there. Let's just do that for now. It doesn't really matter. But basically, uh, as long as this didn't violate any other constraints, this, this data would go in, and then in our employee territories uh, trigger here, uh, when we say after, basically this runs after the data is inserted into the table. So I can actually prove that. Let's say select splat from uh, employee territories where employee ID is equal to select employee ID from inserted. Okay, again, here's the inserted table we saw in a previous video. Just shows up in the context of a trigger. So I say select splat. Give me the give me the employee territories for the employee that they did the insert on. So let's let's actually get a valid value here. I'm going to say select splat from employee territories. In fact, let's have some fun. I'm going to delete from employee territories where employee ID equals one. I'm going to fry all the work or all the territories that employee ID number one is in charge of. So now when I say select splat from employee territories, uh, notice employee ID is, is number one is gone. So let's say employee ID number one. Let's let's give employee number their them territory ID zero one eight three three. So zero one eight three three. So again, think about what's going to happen here. I say insert into employee territories these values. So we would expect to see uh, employee ID number one, territory ID 01833. I'm going to drop an order by here just so we are guaranteed to see it at the top. Um, so we'll insert that. But notice the insert's going to cause this, this trigger to execute because I said after insert or update. Uh, run this. And then we're going to say, hey, let's look at the employee territories table. I want to see if the data is already in there for that employee ID. So so let's do go. And I got my check here to drop the trigger just in case it already exists. Let's run this. Um, let's comment this out. So all we'll have is the insert. Oops. Insert. Oh, of course I have. I, got, I forgot my values here. Values. Run. Okay. So look at that. At the time that this trigger began execution, the row I told SQL to insert into the table had already been inserted. Okay, now I'm going to change this to an instead of. Instead of, which is another way of saying, hey, instead of doing whatever the client programmer is trying to do, I want you to do this instead. Now, this isn't very useful. All it is is showing us uh, the employee territories. But watch what happens here. I'm going to say, uh, let's find another territory ID that's legit. Uh, there's there's record number one again. So let's t let's map one to 01581. 01581. Okay. And now we're going to say instead of though. We're not going to say after. We're going to say instead of. Okay. So let's run all this. Run. All right. Before you look at this table though, let's put that down there. Here's the employee territories. Now we have one. 01833 because that's what we did on the on the last trigger but now notice we don't have the 01581 in here on this select because because this is happening instead of the sequel's not going to do what we tell it to do here instead it's going to do this so it's actually up to the trigger to do the insert instead but notice our trigger it didn't do the insert it just said hey look at some stuff don't insert just look at some stuff so then down here, when we do select splat from employee territories, order by, this is just a normal query we're doing. Uh, look, that 01581 wasn't inserted because our trigger didn't do it. It's up to our trigger to do it. Our trigger's doing it instead of what we told it to do. So, so anyway, whew, if, if we wanted just to do a simple pass through, and this would be useless. I mean, don't ever do this, just the very basics, but we could say, uh, oops. Let's do insert into employee territories, um, select slat from inserted. So pull, pull what they inserted and insert and, or, or pull what they're trying to insert into the table and just put it in the table. Again, 
Ideally, we'd have some checks and things here, but I just want to show you that it's up to us in this trigger to actually do the execution that they want or do the command that they're trying to do. So I'm going to run all this file. I'm going to run this entire file. Just hit a five. That's going to drop our previous trigger, create this pass through trigger, do the insert, and then show the end result. So let's do it. F5, and there we go. Zero one five eight one. We actually got inserted because we told it to insert there. Anyway, so that's. That's kind of the basics of instead of versus after. In the next video, I'm going to talk a little bit about when and how con uh, other constraints are checked uh, in the context of these, these triggers.